Pensioners, businesses, dog fairs and other clients lost their savings in the now defunct VPS Mutual Bank. Politicians and other authorities benefited from the looting of the bank. There have been attempts to recoup the lost money with the former Bavenda Chin Tonim Pepura Mabulana ordered by the High Court in Johannesburg to repay more than 5 million rent with interest. The money was for vehicle sale agreements with the defunct bank. The bank's lawyers have instructed the sheriff to attach and remove all movable assets belonging to Mpepura Mapulana. The minority shareholders have welcomed the move to recover the lost money. We as uh, people who have lost money in VBS, what we are after, uh, it's not after people, they are our people. We are after the return of our money by whoever has borrowed it or has taken it in many manner. It's not yet clear when the sheriff will attach the assets belonging to Mpepura Mabulana. Mubulawa says, although they appreciate the efforts by the liquidators to recover the money, they want constant updates. Because he is collecting these assets on our behalf, which is good, which is fine. But what we wanted was that at least let him, let him give us regular reports on the progress he is making. But he seemed not to take us into consideration. Various politicians and officials' names were also mentioned in the 148 pages forensic report on the looting and collapse of VBS by the Reserve Bank. Last year, the liquidator also obtained an order to attach movable assets of former President Jacob Zuma. This after Zuma fell behind on payments for the 7.8 million rent loan he took out from VBS. The liquidator refused to comment on record, saying he will give an update in the next three months. He also said 98% of the depositors who had invested less than 100,000 rent have been paid back. Amgoke Chomatao, SABC News. Polo Guani.